Hey, out there in the crypto world, today let's talk about a bunch of different hotspots that we got in. We brought down here to South America. We're going to try them out. And you know what? Is it time to buy these right now? Price is really coming down. Let's talk about that right now. But hey, I just want to share with you guys what we brought down here to South America. We're going to try some out. Some we already know are going to work down here. Some won't because of the frequency differences, right? Now, that doesn't mean that like in Mexico, in, in that area, you won't be the same as the U.S. But we're going to try to try these out. Some of these are fairly new, just finally coming out now. Uh, actually getting to the people, not new in the essence that they're just coming out. But just a few months back, and so some are coming on the market. I saw actually too, Voscoin was actually featuring today the Panther X2, right? That he just got in. Um, what we want to talk about a little bit is what we're bringing down right now, what we're going to experiment with, what, we're, what we think can work down here. We're pioneers down here in South America and we experiment. That's what we do. So I want to talk a little about that. And, and is it a good time to buy these or not? You know, this is the mile site right here, right? This baby's kind of big and kind of bulky. It's a thick machine, it feels solid. This mile site. We brought down a mile site and we understand the mile site. You can bring that down and get, that will change and adapt itself with its dashboard. Brought down the Panther X2 as well. Like we saw in Voscoin today, I saw that he had the Panther X. He's featuring that. Brought down this. We bought eight of these. So we got this down here with us. Going to see if this is going to work down here or not. They have the AU version, but doggone it, we tried to buy the AU version to bring it down here. And they wouldn't let us buy it because we're shipping to the U.S. You can't miss a ship down here because when it comes to customs, a lot of times it disappears. So that's a problem. So we need to see if Panther X is going to slack up a little bit and let us be able to buy AU 915s also to bring down here. What else do we have here? Well, we have Lynx Dot that took us forever to get these Lynx Dots. And these are big and bulky. Look at the difference here. Oh, look at that. Huge difference. Big and bulky. And for transportation coming down here, well, that was kind of bulky. All right. Then, at, you know, finally, in April, we ordered our synchro bits. I'm talking April last year, and we just got them in. Just got these babies in a month ago. It took 11 months to get us our synchro bits from SP North America. But this is made for North America now. Will it work down here? I don't think so, but we're going to give it a try now. The other we have is the Curlink Miner. A lot of people think this is a light hotspot or a data-only hotspot. It sure looks like a light hotspot. It's what I think a lot of hotspots going to look like. We're going to go ahead and try to hook this baby up down here and see how it works. We brought down two of them. We got two different types. Not all the same kind, but I got sent two different types, which is good because we can experiment with that. So let's go into now pricing. So we'll keep the video short. And is this, you know, it doesn't really matter what I talk about as far as you know, what kind of memory does you have or, 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 or what the capacity they can do. That doesn't matter because this month, the end of this month, is supposed to implement the Milestone 4 with Helium, right? Which means that all of these full hotspots will turn into light hotspots. So it doesn't really matter what's in them. What matters now is what you're going to pay for them because a light hotspot will do exactly the same thing a full hotspot is going to do going forward. It's not going to carry the blockchain anymore. None of them will. But you're going to get paid for all your witnessing amongst other areas that you can still get paid in, primarily for your witnessing. A light hotspot and a full hotspot will all transfer over to the same in a very short period of time. So now, does that mean do we buy any of these? What about these light hotspots that are coming out that we talked about a month ago? And we were talking about in December, hey, hold off on buying. We still went ahead and bought some. 
We have people down here that are part of invested with us that want to go ahead and get going on it. We got them. Some people are coming out and trying to get it. They were getting us stuff right away. Let's go and look at prices real quick. And then let's talk about should you buy right now or should you not buy right now? Let's go take a look at this. So we jump into the Panther X right now. That was at $599, $600. Okay. We bought that at $599. Now it's down to $420. You know, there should be some sort of like a rebate back if you buy and then they jump down like that. Look at this, how much it has dropped. Jumping over to the Link Stocks. The Link Stocks is still at. 399 pounds. Well, I think probably about $450 here for your US. Now, link stocks, look, we don't know if the Panther X is actually going to work down in South America or not. The link stocks, it frequency is all in one here. You can see this, and link stocks will work. We know that because we already have one hooked up down here. Myosite. Well, Myosite, if you want to go in and check out what Myosite does, I see they're working on a 5G. I wonder if that's going to mine helium down the road. Um, let's jump over to see what we got for SynchroBit. Then we'll get into my site pricing. SynchroBit went from 450 down to 430, but it says here it's only made for North America. So now it's going to work down here, but we're going to experiment and try it anyway. If not, we'll take it back and put it up in North America in our farm there. The Kerlink Miner, this little guy here, this is what I think is a light hotspot is going to look like. But apparently, this is a full hotspot. It's always been advertised as a full hotspot. Link miners are still with Calchip Connect, and I'm not real big fan of Calchip Connect. I felt they really shafted us, really did not treat us good at all. Took our money, held it for a long time. You know, people say, "Man, you're living a miserable life." Well, I'm just telling you the truth of how it is, man. You know, we can all go around thinking positive things, but that doesn't connect us with reality. And we're not going to make any great changes in the world if we don't deal with reality. Now we can go into reality and say, "Okay." I'm going to get this done. And it may be a huge task. And we say, oh, man, what a pain in the tush. Well, let's go to work. I mean, most people don't get up every day, or especially on Mondays, and say, hey, I'm excited to go to my job. You know, most of them get up and say, okay, back to work again. And they go do it because they know they got to do it. That's the only reality. Now, you can jump with a good attitude. I love my job. And maybe you hate your job. It's not going to make your job any better. It doesn't. That's reality. Now, here, when you create when you look for things in truth, I didn't like things I did before, so I helped create then the environment I work in now, which I get up every day, and I actually enjoy going to bed and getting up in the morning and coming here preparing to talk to you and with the team I work with. It's enjoyable, really. We have our moments. We get all those moments. We're like brothers and sisters here, man. It's like, it's like a huge family, and it's great. Now, getting off track, Kerlink with Calchip had real bad experience with Party Labs, and with Calchip, now, okay, Calchip came out and said, okay, we're going to send you this stuff. We held all your money all this time. We're going to send you, we're going to sell you certain miners, right? And we're going to give it to you for this price. You're going to the first ones you can get in and buy these helium hotspots. Well, let me go back. And I'm going to show you what the price they charge. They're charging $950, $750. Well, let's go see what those prices are today. So Kerlink Miner, I think, is still overpriced. Honestly, you can see the other price is jumping down. Let's go in and talk a little about this. This is the other Kerlink miner. You have the one that's the Kerlink, that is, is the iPhone, the, the iFemto I cell evolution miner. And then you have the, which is Europe, right? Then you have one that's the US. Now, what they sent me was they sent me a US one and they sent me a Europe one. See this one? That's a Europe one. So I don't think it's even going to work down here at all. Wrong frequency. Well, actually, it says here 915. So let's see. I don't know. It here says it's the actual European A68. I'll check it out. Let's go look at this. Review the Cotex 2. I guess we're back in good graces again, so we can actually get back online with Helium. Um, mile site. Here we go. 499 down from 700 and $679. This baby right here. Do you see how they're dropping? You see how they're dropping right now? $4.99. Is that worth it? Let's talk about that. Panther X2, here you can buy it for $4.99. So you're seeing the same kind of drop even on its own website. Sensei Cap, $4.99. This is what Calchip sold us for $950. See, because you guys suffered so long and waited so long, we're going to go and get these to you and give them to you right away. You don't have to pay $950. Well, for me to get them, I went ahead and bought three of them. Then there were three others that I bought that I won't go into. 
They're overpriced and they don't work for poo poo. In fact, I should do a follow up on those because they don't work very good at all. You're going to see here price should drop. Look at this. Look at this rising, this RHF um, 2S308 outdoor gateway helium miner. It's at a whopping $599, down $400. Why are they coming down so much? Well, you can see here we are $699 for the Panther X1. Now the Panther X2 is at $499 from $729 on fast miners. Now it's not buying direct. You can get that a little bit cheaper if you buy direct, right? But why are we seeing these come down? Why? Because now is the time we should start seeing the light hotspots come onto the market, which are even going to be cheaper than this. So is it a time to buy? Well, you got to make that decision for yourself. We're holding off. If I can get things down around that $400 range and get it right away, we'll go ahead and buy it. Even $450, we'll go ahead and buy them. We're going to make a big buy coming up in July. We'll walk you through with that. We're going to dump hundred grand into buying helium hotspots, and we'll share with you what we do, what we're types we're going to buy, what's working, where it's not working at, especially if you're outside of the U.S. and you're in Latin America. Now, that will include also in our Spanish version. So what's going on with these hotspots? It really doesn't make any difference right now looking for price, okay? So you may want to go on standby. Helium's having some struggles. They're going to make a transition. Right now, it's not really the time, I don't think, to jump into helium. Is there a good time to jump into helium? I think that you, you can jump into helium probably the end of this month, going into next month will be a time to get in. But I will be waiting. We're waiting more so for those light hotspots to come online and come out in the market. now. I haven't seen any yet. I've been traveling though. I have not been as paying as close attention as I normally am because we're working on our crypto mining farm, selling the one asset to buy the other. And we hope to get all that transition. We got the renter actually leaving one of the buildings on the first and they've actually helped us out a lot. We thank them for that. They would shout out to, um, to uh, Chantel and, and, and her boyfriend. And we thank them for actually helping us out in getting this up and going. Uh, getting it sold so we can get our mining farm. Look, we try to keep you informed on what's real and what's going on, all right? And if a project's a bunk project or a miner's a bunk miner, we're gonna tell you. Now, will all these hotspots carry forward down the road? We even brought down a Bobcat, a new Bobcat, right? A newer Bobcat, but apparently there's some changes in the Bobcat. And I, and I, and I haven't seen Bobcat working in South America at all. So we're gonna see, we, we hooked it up yesterday and we're gonna start seeing what it does. We're gonna hook up 25 more in the next week or two. We're out hooking them up and putting them way up high with antennas and so forth. Actually talk with the other company too, maybe to bring in another 20 more, to experiment with them and the Sensei caps. And we'll see what happens. We're looking toward maybe picking up a whole bunch of Sensei cap M2s. I like Sensei cap, it's done well for us here. So maybe we'll pick up 50 Sensei cap M2s and pick up another. We're gonna go with what works best, but now, Caution on this end. Don't jump in for five, six hundred dollars. I, I wouldn't recommend it. You do what you want. We're not. It's not financial advice. But this is what we're holding down on and holding off on until helium makes a transitions. They're having some hiccups right now, but they're cleaning things up. And the project looks very prosperous for the future. And there are many other ways, as we did a video uh, in Spanish, and we'll do one in English later on other ways you prosper in helium down the road, helping provide for that third party, that end user, right? And making money on the data only hotspots, which are different. Those are the Draginos. That's different. You see many people kind of confuse this one with a light hot, as a light hotspot or a data only when this is a full hotspot. At least that's what it's recorded as is a full hotspot and it's showing cut up on Helium's list as a full hotspot manufacturer. DeFi IoT, we hope this helps you out a little bit. In summary, you know, I would wait a month if I was you. You do what you want to do. Let Helium correct things get their new system, the Milestone 4 back online or online now and let the prices come out with these new hotspots. We'll try to get on top of these better and tell you where you can get them and when they're gonna come out. DeFi IoT, please subscribe, hit the like button, send us a message. If you know something more than we do about this, let us know so we can inform everybody else. Please let your friends know too so we can educate you and take a look at the tax video we just did because that's gonna help you going forward if you're especially living or residing in the United States of America. Talk to you tomorrow. We hope you enjoyed this segment of our video with DeFi IoT. Remember, we're not professional advisors. We do this as a business, as a hobby, and we study, we experiment, and we want to share it with you. If you can get some benefit from this, great. What we do is we go out, we purchase with our own money, and we experiment to see what true results are. We want you to be able to share 
in our experiences so you don't have to lose like we have. If you can win where we've won, fantastic. Remember to do your own research and your own homework. It's very important before you make any decisions. We will see you in our next video.